Welcome back to this Photoshop demo. This is your host Aaron Cox and we're going to be wrapping up this set of masking tutorials um, just with a last technique that I want to show you. Um, I talked about it briefly in some other tutorials about um, the combination of masking um, and also using channels and so I wanted to go into that a little bit just because this is a masking tutorial and I want to show you another technique that you can use uh, to uh, actually play around with on uh, using your channels and masking combination. So um, the first thing I'm going to do once again is I'm going to go to my channels here and I'm just going to click on each one of these and just kind of look and see what I'm getting here and I like the green because it does have a lot of contrast and I'm just gonna copy this for a second and then once I've copied that I'm gonna come up here to go image adjustments and curves and I'm just gonna go ahead and look at my my curves here and just reduce this way down and see what I get here And that's actually not too bad um, ultimately what I'm going to try to do is I want to get the sky actually painted out of this image. And I do see there's a little bit of a highlight there on her hair which I don't want to kind of ignore. So then I'm just going to click in the middle here. Um, I'm going to click here in the middle and I'm going to drag this down just a little bit. I'm going to scoot this over so you can kind of see what's going on here in the tones on the face and as I do that it actually starts to completely get rid of the skin tones um, and reduces them. Now that's not as important actually because the hair is already dark as this area up here. You see the sky is starting to turn black and it bleeds in with this. I don't actually want that effect. So I'm gonna actually leave this a little more up in the white area and the reason being is because I can go in and paint this all out. So um, the only thing is with this hand over here and the tree that's actually not what I want so I may have to adjust this just slightly just to get some mid-tone ranges in there uh, just so I can mask it a little bit better okay that looks pretty good so I'm gonna hit OK and I'm gonna look through these other layers just to see if there's any else thing that I missed that looks pretty good so now what I'm gonna do is basically take this layer or this um, this channel this copy of the green channel and technically I could work on it here if I wanted to um, let's go ahead and actually do that so what I'm gonna do is take this brush tool and I'm gonna go with solid black okay make sure this says all zero zero zeros here hit OK and I'm gonna use my bracket key to basically make that a little bit bigger then I'm just going to go ahead and paint this all black, okay? And the tree is going to be black too. And the reason I'm doing this is actually I'm going to end up I'm going to invert this mask in a second, but first I want to go ahead and paint it in with the black because it's kind of dramatic here. And bring this down, and then I'm going to click on my brush and give it a little bit of a soft edge because I am going to paint this hair here. I don't want it to be too hard right along the edge there just right along the top of the head that's fine and then some of this grass here as well just kind of get that out of the way and the edge of this can be can be left hard and then again we're gonna wanna paint this tree as well we're gonna wanna do this solid black as well so we'll go ahead and paint that in the one sides already black so we just kinda need to go in here and just kinda go right over the hand because we don't want the hand to actually get cut out either and we'll paint over that and then the same thing let's go ahead and zoom in actually with this and this and you can just zoom in um, by either using your zoom tool down here um, or I actually um, typically when I'm when I'm working I'll uh, I'll just hold down my alt key and that'll toggle between zooming out and zooming in and I'll go ahead and uh, click on my brush tool again here and I'm gonna just erase that handout 
just with the black just painting over that now we're not destroying the image right now we're actually just painting on that duplicate mask that we made so everything looks fine that's pretty good now in my photo I actually want um, to put a, a, a sky in here and so what's going to happen is if I use this as a mask the sky is going to go over this because these areas these poles here are, are also kind of gray so you may need to um, on this particular image you'll probably need to go in here and just fill those in with black um, and again because we're gonna be masking this this is gonna become a mask and you want everything to either be solid gray or solid black and I'm just doing this very quickly um, you could actually use your selection tools and do a much better job that I'm doing right now I'm just going over this pretty quick here and then once you've basically filled all that in and you've gotten all the areas that you want uh, with a solid tone, a solid color. Um, remember the black in a mask is actually going to be what is removed from the photo. Um, and the white will be what is showing. And so um, let's go ahead and zoom uh, with this thing here. And I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to use my brackets again just to make this a little bit larger and this time I'm going to actually paint the sky out because I want the clouds to go all the way over into that corner. I don't, I'm not going to be using any of the original image as far as this area goes so I can go ahead and just get rid of all that. That's going to essentially be masked out and now that that's done um, we have a pretty much of a solid black and white mask here that can be used. Um, you could go ahead and you know further get some details in here but now what we're going to do is go back to our channels and we're going to copy this entire section and just like we did in the other video um, I'm going to alt double click this to unlock it and then I'm going to create my mask here just like that alt click on the mask and then paste in my mask well if I do that you can see that basically um, I'm going to end up with an image that looks like that. That's not what I want to do. So I'm going to alt click this again. I'm going to come here to image um, and then adjustments and invert. Okay, That's going to invert the mask so that this area is actually what's um, being taken out. And then I have the fence and everything in place. So then I'm going to click on this again. And now you can see it has the exact effect that I was actually going for because I have my photo intact and this part is actually taken out so then I could um, go in there with a new layer and actually create some clouds or whatever effect I wanted so for right now just for um, demonstration purposes I'm gonna go ahead and fill this with kind of like a kind of a middle blue here fill that up and then filter um, we're gonna do render and we're gonna do clouds on that and we fill that in with our own set of clouds in the background and that's not exactly, I mean, the best effect that I would recommend doing. I would recommend using a real photograph of um, some clouds and then image. Um, I'm going to also make this black and white just to give it a little bit, um, a little bit more contrast here. And I'm going to do, um, oops, I'm going to click on my photo here, image adjustments. I'm going to do black and white. And, and then I'm going to put this here on green. Just to get a, a little bit of a dramatic effect, and uh, there you go. So you can see that's how the mask is taken out of the photo, and uh, we have this black and white image with this blue sky. So that's a really quick way to use masking to actually take certain areas out of your images. So good luck with that technique. Have fun with it, and again, just really use the combination of masking and um, your channels to do some really unique effects. Thanks for watching this tutorial and uh, we'll see you in the remaining tutorials.